If your tasks look like a jumbled mess in Microsoft Planner, then this new feature will help you get organized. I have received a surprising number of comments on my planner tutorials asking me how to organize tasks, specifically under the My Tasks area, because in grid view, they look like a jumbled mess. So when Microsoft rolled out the new board view, I was super excited to show you because this feature coupled with the appropriate filters and sorts will allow you to organize your tasks. In this tutorial, we will walk through three examples of how you can utilize this feature. Hey, my name's Amy, let's nerd out. Let's first go to the assigned to me tab. So the assigned to me shows you all of your Microsoft team planner plans, but also any private plans that you have or even lists from Microsoft to do. So in this area, I recommend going group by, and then we can go by plan. So now we have all of our tasks organized by the different plans that we are assigned tasks in. And then we can go to filters. And for filters, I almost always have progress toggled to not started and in progress. You'll see these little check marks here to indicate that I have those on. And what this does is it removes my completed tasks. So it makes the area just look a lot cleaner. Then what I recommend doing is we can filter by due date. So we can easily see which tasks are late, which ones are due today, tomorrow, this week, next week, in the future, or even any that don't have a date at all. We can select multiple filters and to remove them, we can simply click them again. Board view is available within all of the filters in the My Tasks area. And the next area that I find beneficial to use this view is all. A quick pause in today's video to say that my ebook Navigating Microsoft Passages is available for free for you to download. Inside, you will find a treasure map to help you navigate Microsoft 365 apps with confidence so that you can increase your productivity and efficiency and reclaim your time for meaningful work. I will include a link at the end of this tutorial as well as in the description of this one. So be sure to check it out and grab your copy today. So all includes all of your tasks within Microsoft Planner. This includes private tasks, which are tasks that you have created for yourself, the assigned to me, which we just went over, as well as your flagged emails. And you'll notice that the sorts and filters are sticky, meaning that when we toggle between these different filters in the My Tasks area, the sorts and filters will remain until we adjust them again. For all, I recommend grouping by progress. So we'll see that we now have not started, in progress, and completed. And then for the filters, we can remove these date filters. I personally will leave completed untoggled. So this will remain blank and it just ensures that we have a nice clean area to work off of. So for the filters, I now suggest filtering for priority. So we can toggle on urgent and important items. Then if we open up a task, what we are using these sorts and filters for are these items here. So once you start working on a task, then you can toggle it to in progress. And for priority, we can designate different priority items for that task card. Just know that the urgent is not available for your private tasks. That's only available for planner plans. So plans that are within a team or a private plan that you have created for yourself. If we close out of here, 
then we can now see that we are visualizing our priority tasks by progress. Even when we effectively use these sorts and filters, it can be difficult to find a specific task that you are looking for. In which case, I recommend using this little search area here, and you can start to type in the name of the task. Board view is also available within my day. Now my day shows you all of your tasks that are due today or have been marked as my day. And within the board view, what I recommend doing here is grouping your tasks by priority. This allows you to easily identify your biggest priority items to complete for that day. To learn how to manage all of your tasks across the 365 apps, then you can check out this video here.